you need to have an audience, right? And I don't give a shit like what what market are you in, what are you trying to fucking sell, what product, what service, what piece of anything you're trying to sell. If you don't have an audience, right, um, you will never be able to sell anything. And today I want to talk about why and also why is it important to have an audience and as well as how to build one, right? So no matter if you're in e-com, in a service-based business, there's always audience that you ha- need to have, right? So, uh, by the way, if you're new to this channel and you don't know who I am, my name is We are on a TikTok creative-based agency. And if you would want to see more as to what we do, feel free to check out the description, check out the website, whatever it is. Uh, if not, no worries. Um, so, as I said, if you're an e-com, well, what market are you in? I don't give a shit. Uh, you have, you need to have an audience, right? So it's you. You can imagine it like this, right? Imagine you are in this bubble, right? And you're essentially trying to, like, you're. Imagine this is a bubble. This is the market that you want to get into, or like mm, the audience, the audience, the market that you want to sell to, right? And this is you, that your you as to like your brand or like basically you and you're trying to get into the into this market right and most of the people think that you know they can actually just step into the market and and start selling here right of course of course but there's something that this process this 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 process is called and it's outreach outreach right and most of the people don't do it most of the people don't actually do it like imagine or not most people think <coughs> most people think that the market will come to them but that's like entirely wrong right that's not how it works you gotta have to do outreach and by outreach a lot of people think oh like what do you mean about outreach outreach is a very broad term right we need to we need to like look at more from the perspective of your real life you, you know outreach you are what what are you doing you are reaching out right you're reaching out with something right with some some sort of some sort of item right some some sort of offer right some sort of story right and so for ecom it could be it could be uh organic like as to organic content like tiktok reels stuff like that right uh tiktok reels right stuff like that there are many ways right reaching out could be offline events right fashion shows uh pop-up shows all that stuff right uh ads right email and sms right um influencers right etc etc you get the idea right that's 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 reaching out essentially that's ecom right this is ecom right and the same thing and i want to show that i'm not lying to you that the same thing reaching out is very like a human kind of shit but like people just People just use human terms to 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 business wise, and I don't I don't fucking know why, but essentially like in B two B, right? It would be like by the way, if you're in ecom, you will get these a lot. But anyways, you will be getting like cold DMs, right? From from fucking people who don't know even what they're talking about. Like you're big, you're gonna be getting cold emails, right? Right, even ads someone will target you as right all that stuff so like reaching out is a very very broad term and i need you to understand that to be able to sell something you gotta go out there you can never wait till someone actually see your stuff you gotta you gotta get eyeballs on your stuff and the only way you can get eyeballs on your stuff is by is by reaching out so reaching out right to to dive deep, more deeper into this right it could be creating some content right creating content right running ads running engagement ads especially if you are you know especially if you are just starting out as a brand as a streamer brand and you don't have much nothing yet so it's better to start running engagement ads build that following 
build that like, build that engagement first, right? Build that audience first before you actually start thinking about, oh, yeah, I spend like, I spend, oh, I spend like 1K on ads. I, I want to see so many sales from it. Like, what the fuck, right? You need a, you need an audience, right? So it, as I said, it could be content, right? What, whatever the fuck type of reaching out you do, you got to get eyeballs on your stuff. That's the only way you can succeed in entrepreneurship. That's what sales and marketing is about. This whole concept, this whole sales reaching out is sales and is, is not, is marketing, right? And marketing, marketing, right? Leads to sales, right? So that's a different, like, by the way, sales isn't like this sales isn't marketing, right? Sales can't survive around marketing, you know, and it's not the same thing because you got to market to be able to make sales essentially. So someone can be a good marketer, but someone can be a good salesman. So to give you a more broad example in e-com, right? You can have, uh, let's, let's imagine that you're running ads, right? Running ads to your website, right? E-com website w you know like a website <laughs> and your ads can be you know can be bringing 100k visitors per day right right and your website but that's marketing right? that's marketing but your website is maybe just only have has you know 1.2 percent conversion rate so do the math right you convert from 100k visitors per day you convert only 0.2 percent of people so that's sell, that's the sales sales part right and imagine if you could bump this up to like just an example to four percent right how much the fuck of a difference it would be like extreme some people don't see it but like see it as a bigger numbers right like one million right so getting back to the content and reaching out and having an audience right so what i'm trying to say is that you you can you you have to build an audience by like for yourself by tapping into other people's audiences or like they're not other people's but they're other people's essentially why i'm why am i saying it's other people's is because they are in front of your audience so and if you're not in front of that audience, then they're not your audience, right? They become your audience when they actually start seeing your stuff. They actually start liking your stuff. They start actually engaging with your stuff. They, then they become an audience slash fan, right? So I hope that this concept, you know, really opened a lot of people's mind because as I said, you want to sell something, you get, you gotta wake your fucking lazy ass up, do research, get out of the fucking building, and talk to people. It's the same way if you want to approach a girl or a guy, right? You like you you know that you want them essentially. You want them like to talk to them, right? But you can't expect them to fucking talk to you if you if they don't even fucking know about your fucking existence right so i hope that this video clarifies some some of the you know new entrepreneurs uh like mindset and beliefs out there if yes feel free to let me know if not no worries i'm still gonna make be making this kind of videos and i'll see you in the next peace